Glasgow is the biggest city and the main business and industrial centre in Scotland, the United Kingdom. In the 80s, Glasgow suffered from an economic decline. It caused an increase in the unemployment rate and a decrease in the standard quality of life for Glaswegians. On the world stage, Glasgow is located in west-central Scotland and the Clyde River flows calmly along the city. The routine visit of Scotland's First Minister, Alex Salmon, to the Glasgow Central Mosque shows that the Muslim community is never sidelined. The visit gives them a chance for their voices to be heard so that they can fulfill their responsibility to promote Islamic teachings. The Muslim community, many of our fellows having steep corners. Although not all the Muslim community are of Scottish blood, but the appreciation shown by the government towards them has become an asset to their socio-economic development in Scotland. All the other functions in the city where Muslim community is involved, mosque plays a leading role. You might have heard that recently we have been uh, running a program for feeding the hungry people in, the, in this you know, Glasgow city. Initially it was for the refugees, which were mostly Muslim, but now there is no discrimination. Even local Scottish non-Muslim, they are also given food and they really realize the contribution of the mosque. One of the Islamic moral values is the humanity value. And not only Islam encourages us to do good, in fact, all religions ask us to do good. As a committee member of the Glasgow Central Mosque, Sheikh Alam Shir volunteered for the humanitarian duty. He will warmly give food to the needy people, such as the homeless and refugees. Sheikh Alam Shir offered his home as the place to cook and prepare the food for these groups. To realize this humanitarian mission, his family members will spend some time together at his home each week to help out. This environment becomes lively when the family members bring their own family members to join in. Sheikh Alam Shira's family actively and voluntarily run these humanitarian activities without asking for any reward. Such activities will strengthen their close relations between them. Although the Muslim community is small, the unity shown shows that Islam is a holy religion based on charity. It is a responsibility that must be shouldered together. For the young generation who are growing in a world without borders, these family gatherings are good examples for them. The cooking preparation begins at noon and it is done together as a community. The raw materials that they use are courtesy of the generosity of the public. They help to cook the food only. My family uh, is split in two. They prepare uh, rice as well as uh, soup uh, every Saturday. And it's a contribution from our family. The, the ladies have their uh, contribution for cooking, etc. Uh, they have made a rotor uh, for gathering every, every Saturday and they do the kicking, cooking as a team. The purpose obviously is to contribute as a sadhaka from the Muslim community. The program to give food to the needy is actually done daily and at the same location. However, Sheikh Alam Shir's family is only given this charitable duty once a week. 
On other days, the duty is taken up by other volunteer bodies and societies on rotation. Usually, as many as 100 food packs are given out to the needy people in this city. The quality and flavor of the food are also taken care of, even though the food are given out free. Packed food are delivered quickly due to the cold weather. In Glasgow, the temperature is about 9 degrees Celsius. These are the cups, you get soups, etc. Even when Sheikh Alam Sher's grandchildren have just arrived from Edinburgh, he still fulfills his trust and responsibility first by delivering the food before spending some time with them. The food needs to be sent to the needy at the Kandungan street, as selected by the city council. All sorts of people there, but there's never any problems. You know, they make a lot of, sometimes they make a lot of noise amongst themselves, but uh, never any, any, any problem to the people who distribute the food. They're always very respectful to them. Some of them are drunk, others are okay. You, know, you get people like that because this is their culture. This is the way they are, you know. When people say thank you, you know, it's very satisfying. But then again, you know, this is all about our akhirah, you know, it's nothing to do with dunya. We are doing it to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, this, this is the whole idea behind it. Uh, this is a street. People, it's a bit early. I'm going to park on the right hand side. Okay. <laughs> the needy in this city are made up of people from different religions and ethnicities. Although they come from different teachings and opinions, Sheikh Alam Shir group show that Muslims in Scotland are ready to help. On a wider context, Tasks like this shows the neighborly spirit as well as a sense of responsibility towards the community. Sheikh Alam Shir always approaches them and talks to them, although most of them are non-Muslims. At the same time, he delivers Islamic teachings to them. In the early stages, the non-Muslim community was uneasy with the arrival of Islam and always had a negative perception. But now, after looking at the good that the Muslim community are doing, there is a growing respect towards the Islamic teachings. Happiness is shown on the faces of the elderly who wait for the weekly organized program. They are invited from their homes and are brought to the Glasgow Central Mosque for fitness or health care activities. The elderly group are from different backgrounds. Some live by themselves, while some live with their families. This program is carried out as a sign of love and a way to show respect to the elderly. They are clearly happy to spend time with their friends at the mosque. I come here every week, twice a week. And uh, yes, of course, I enjoy meeting my friends and uh, taking part in all the activities we have here. In 1984, the Glasgow Central Mosque was built in the Gobal district, and it is the biggest mosque in Scotland. Each week, about 5,000 Muslims visit the mosque. They are from the multiracial Muslim community who have settled in Glasgow. The main role of the mosque is as a place of worship, especially in countries where the majority are non-Muslims. However, in the Glasgow Central Mosque, the mosque is packed with religious and community service activities all year round. 
This mosque has become a symbol of unity and understanding between the Muslim and non-Muslim communities. The exhibition gallery, which is supervised by the Glasgow Museum team, is permanently displayed at the mosque's lounge area. All the artifacts displayed are proof of the skills, as well as delicate, unique artworks of the Muslim community. What is priceless is that the artifacts show the arrival of Islam that brings about the big change to the creative world and that Muslims have great skills and knowledge. The artifacts and the history of Islam that are displayed can increase the visitor's knowledge. It gives the elderly satisfaction when they view for themselves the Islamic treasures up close. They are also given explanation and special treatment by the museum team. At their age, they feel at ease when they are able to be close with the mosque and increase their faith with Allah. You see the flowers here, these are tulips growing upside down. They're very simplistic with very straight edges. It is more enjoyable when it is filled with useful activities such as this. Big thing is that we have our these volunteers. They work here free of cost. They, nobody charges anything. All of us are working free of cost for the sake of Allah. And you will be astonished to know many people want to come. We have only limited place we can take people. All the staff who are in service at the mosque are actually volunteers. Only the guard receives a salary as he protects the assets in the mosque. Most of the volunteers who do the community service activities are from various working backgrounds. They range from those who are normal workers to medical doctors. They balance their time between work and voluntary duties. All of these are done with a sincere heart, with only wishes to receive blessings from Allah. This elderly group is the first Muslim generation who had migrated to Scotland. Now they can witness for themselves that the seeds of Islam in this foreign country have bloomed with love. Along with the mosque, we had the facilities for teaching children Quran, hifz -e quran and some mother languages, Arabic and uh, Urdu language. Now we also have a mortuary where we have a cold storage for our dead bodies and we do give them ghusl and we have a prayer facilities. We run one cemetery, Muslim cemetery in Glasgow. And we also have a place for women, you know, those who, mourners, they come there and we have funeral parlor where they sit, the ladies sit. So apart from that, we have a big hall, which is a mostly Muslim marriage hall, but we have seminars and meetings and sometimes some sports as well. The migration and foreign refugees have become a worldwide phenomenon. The huge wave of migration of immigrants to Scotland was around the year 2000. Most of them are originally from Somalia, Algeria, Albania, Romania and Kosovo. All of them were forced to leave their motherlands. This is because they were worried and afraid of persecution, oppression and torture. So they left to find refuge in a foreign country. Glasgow has become one of the supplement destinations to the immigrants and refugees.
waiting for uh, our weekly donation. Well, obviously, we don't, we don't want to interfere in their business, so we just wait until they have a few moments, then they will give us the food to take away. The Muslim community in Scotland is also sympathetic to what had happened, as it is a humanitarian issue. They also gave some aid to ease their burdens. The daily needs, such as food, drink and clothes, are gathered from Muslim business people in this city. Around, uh, is it KL Surya? Yeah. Uh, KLC Surya, beautiful. Yes. I was very impressed that uh, a Muslim country is so advanced, modernized and organized. Uh, it's very nice to see. I mean, a lot of the countries, Muslim countries are, you know, way behind in terms of development. But, you know, I saw the Petronas Towers and the big shopping centers. It, it's called Surya, I think, KLC Surya. Yes. Very nice. People were lovely. And, uh, you know, it was nice to see, you see women with hijab and you can, you can see that the, the religion has not died in Malaysia, unlike a lot of other countries where people are now becoming so westernized. But we're just going to pick up 10 chickens, it's going to take two okay. minutes. Okay. The daily goods are brought to the Glasgow Central Mosque to be distributed equally to all the affected families. The refugees are not allowed to work in this country and they need to be helped. Although the daily goods are collected by the volunteers, they also receive aid from other agencies based on the set days. The goods are then delivered to special settlements prepared by the Scottish authorities to ease their suffering. As Muslims who apply the concept of Islam Brotherhood, the humanitarian aid can inject spirit and heal the trauma which had befallen them all along. The migration of the refugees to the world is to receive refuge following threats to their safety. A lot of people have to wait. The feeling of overwhelming gratitude can be seen on the refugees when they see the volunteers bringing in the much needed provisions to ease their suffering. It is narrated by Abu Huraira from the Prophet, peace be upon him, who said, whoever relieves a believer's distress of the distressful aspects of this world, Allah will rescue him from a difficulty of the difficulties of the hereafter. According to the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, UNHCR, these people will be protected in welfare and safety aspects. They can return to their original countries once the situation in their countries return to normal. In 2002, more than 5,000 refugees stayed in special shelter centers in Scotland. Because of this, a lot of manpower and volunteers were needed to help this humanitarian mission. Usually, crimes are committed because the refugees are desperate. When this program was introduced to those who are in need, the crime rate in Glasgow is said to have dropped. So the continuous efforts of the Glasgow Central Mosque Institution has campaigned for Islam in Scotland.
The Muslim community stands straight in their faith or Akida. Watch the next episode of Shahada, searching for eternal peace.